Right, lovely summer's day today. We're gonna to get this mount filled uh, lawnmower going. I think it needs a new carbon diaphragm. See you in a minute. Right, well this is a little mower which we picked up the other day. It is a self-drive one, so it's gonna be worth about 80 to 120 pounds. So it basically needs a good refurbishment. Someone's had a play about with a car because the air filter's on the wrong way. And also we found it was hunting up and down. So we know exactly what that problem is. So without any further ado, let's get it blown down, get all the crap off of it, get the carb off, get a new carbon diaphragm on it. Okay then, here we go. Here's our problem. Now we know it's got fuel in it. I think the chap said that he put fuel in it. And uh, I'm just gonna remove the carburetor by undoing these five screws, as you know, around the edge. Now this lawnmower, as you know, is hunting up and down from the previous video I done. So all it is is a matter of replacing the uh, diaphragm and gasket because everything else appears to be okay on the lawnmower and one thing that we have to make sure is as you can see the round o-ring and white clip is still on the back of the lawnmower so I'm just going to replace that in there like that just that we know that it's actually in location now and just sip out these five screws. Right, okay, there's our four, five screws out. Let's lift the carb off. And the first thing I check, as you know, underneath there to see if there's any crap on the bottom of the filter bed, which there isn't. There's another filter there, as we know. And under there's your main jet. We'll sort that out in a minute. And uh, there is some crap in there, that little chamber, which we want to blow out anyway, so, um, I'll be sorting that out. And as you can see on this one, the carbon diaphragm is actually stuck to the carb on this. Sometimes they stick on the uh, the base there, but uh, this little area here tends to go saggy after time and it can let by into one of these other chambers there. And that's what causes your hunting. Sometimes the gaskets come off in one piece and sometimes they don't. In this case, the gasket's broken up, but the diaphragm, as you can see, is our main problem. Right, so I've just got a little blade here now, and again, being very careful, if you keep the blade flat, you can just literally just scrape off the remainder. You don't want to dig it in at an angle or nothing, just keep it flat and you should be okay. Now, this carb here, I'm gonna take that off, make sure they don't blow away. That little spring I'm gonna leave on there, and I've just got some carb spray here, and I'm literally, I'm gonna go all around the outside of the carb, I like to do both outside and inside. Get that tube off, get that little washer uh, gasket off there. Now I 
ideally you should have gloves on here because this stuff isn't very kind to you at all. And also goggles and maybe a mask. So I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. And I like to also give this a wipe down. I normally wipe this down before I take the top off, but uh, this one wasn't too bad. But you don't want any of that crap going into your fuel tank, obviously, so... Uh... Lovely day out here today. Right, that's good. I'm just going to suck up any petrol out of this chamber here. Just with some uh, tissue paper. I don't know whether you can actually see there's a crap inside that hole there, as you can probably see. I do tend to just give that a blast of carb cleaner. And you might want to just agitate it with preferably a terminal screwdriver. This one's a little bit big actually. Right, I've just got a little little screwdriver there. And just sort of help it on its way. Let that carb cleaner do its work. Shouldn't really be working out here in the wind. Blinking stuff's blowing away. Let's put it over in there. There we go. So we know we're safe. So yeah, just as you take that carb cleaner. And then I like to get the old uh, compress there and give it a good blast out. And I don't know whether you can see or not, but uh, in there now, I don't know if you can see that, that is absolutely spotlessly clean inside there. That's your basic pump. That's the pump which pumps the fuel up and down with the vacuum on that diaphragm. So, you know, you want to, you want that to be clean. So put that to one side. And now I've let this soak for a bit. Again, this is where you want the airline again. See the fuel pumping out of there? And there we go. Right, well, normally I'd empty this fuel tank out, but the chaps actually put fresh fuel in there, so um, I'm going to leave it in situ. Carb's nice and clean now. I'm going to get the uh, filter. Stick that back on the bottom of where the main jet lives and it's that thing that sits in there And as I say, this is protecting all your crap from hopefully going into your car from the actual fuel tank that filter there this one also Is your main port of call which goes through this hole and sits in the tank So any crap that gets through there will finally get second filtered through this one Well, I'm gonna go and get a diaphragm and gasket Okay Right, so this is our diaphragm and gasket. The diaphragm goes down first onto the carb, onto the fuel tank body, and the gasket sits on top. Like that. Again, line them up as best you can, and then plop your fuel carburetor back on, being very careful to thread it through the hole. Roughly put it in place and then look down your holes and Make sure there's no bits pinching and then drop your screws in as I've said many many times With their little lead in edges. Just drop them all in So they fall in naturally I'm sure you'll agree that it's a lot better to work on these when they're all clean I've seen people strip these down and when they put them back together. They're still all filthy dirty all over here And that's no fun to work with not only that it shows that you're you're not very uh, passionate about your job. I like to do a good job. And that involves cleaning up as you go along. It shows that you care about the work you're doing and the standards. And you can be judged by that by some people, you know, so. There you go. And as with anything, it's a nice little simple job. It's not too complicated, but I remember when I first got my first lawnmower and I thought to myself, when it had a problem, 
oh I don't know about this oh god that's before sort of YouTube so to speak and you ain't got a manual on them they didn't do manuals at the time and I thought oh god and I can I can remember thinking oh, I don't know how to work this set this up and all that even though I was quite au okay fait with cars and engines and stuff it's just a different system which I didn't know anything about and it's so simple once you know how to do something it's so simple anyone can do this anyone can save themselves some money by doing this right so basically that's the carburetor serviced so all I've got to do now is to fit this back to the uh, the lawnmower I'm not going to do it right yet because I'm just going to give a little bit of a clean around behind where this was situated and uh, that saves me trying to do cleaning up while I've, I've got this uh, with this in the way so I'm just going to put that little breather tube back on there that's ready to go now as you can probably see put that to one side and continue blowing this down and uh, cleaning up around that lawnmower so let's do that Right, okay, that's the major work done. I'm just gonna check the spark plug in this. Just to see the color of it, see what it was uh, doing just before we brought it, for example. Color looks perfect, it's nice and dry. It's a light brown in color, which is absolutely perfect. That shows that the air filter was clean, by the way. So uh, well, I'm happy with that. Little nip up. And let's give it a test run. Now I haven't cleaned it up yet. I like to make sure that they're running correctly before I actually do that. So let's get it on the floor and test it. A bit of prime. There you go more work needed back on the counter and let's try and suss out why that's happening right <clears throat> I've just taken off the carb again and I've just lifted off the carb off of the fuel tank and look at this look look at this gasket it is all coiled up from the fuel and it's all wrinkled up look at that look that was a brand new gasket and as you can see it is absolutely useless so this is my problem and I'll tell you for why because I tested out a set of cheap gaskets from uh, China I ordered uh, two batches they took about 10 days to come I thought I'd just give them a go and as you can see straight away look at how that's curled up look so lesson learnt here, 
don't buy cheap gaskets. I've used them before, but not from this supplier. I didn't know this supplier, to be honest with you. And as you can see there, it doesn't want to know. Uh, it's totally useless. I'm going to put another one in there just for the sake of it. It might be a one-off, or it may not. So the diaphragm's okay. Sorry, the gasket's okay. But the diaphragm, as you can see, is totally useless. And that's caused that to happen to that in that short time. There you go. So I'm going to put this on anyway, just for the sake of it, while I'm waiting for uh, new ones to come now. I'm going to have to order brand new ones. happy with that so I'm gonna to have to go back to the drawing board and order some genuine gaskets for that just a little lesson learnt there if any of you out there are thinking about buying the cheaper ones this is the sort of thing you can come up against the speeds going up and down still and so there you go not everything goes to plan when you start messing about and changing the winning formula and trying to get things done cheaper cheaper gaskets and diaphragm especially as it's a very critical part of an engine running smoothly which this one isn't with two gaskets we've had in there so we know that it's definitely the gasket and diaphragm Anyway, that's enough on this vid. I hope you've learned something from this one, as so have I. And uh, it's time to order some decent gaskets and diaphragms. Thanks very much. See you in the next video. Until then, bye for now.